I don't have time for this bullshit. Ha! <laughs> bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. All this guy ever does is BS. Anyway, it's time for another edition of BSN with Big Nate. Welcome into another edition of BSN with Big Nate. We all know Shelf Ch 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 Do we Shelf? Now? Shelf. <laughs> Shit. Chef Chelsea Renee from uh, Easy down in Myrtle Beach. And uh, she's made her way up here. Usually what we do when we're doing these together is Chelsea will have a recipe and she will. You can see JT walking there in the background. He's just cruising on in. <laughs> Yeah, the station's unmanned right now. That's okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, usually, she picks a recipe and then cooks it for me well, or has me, walks me through cooking it. So, she was coming into town, and I decided to go ahead and just spring this on her, and I'm going to give her the steps, and she is going to make restaurant salsa. So, uh, there's our precursor. Chelsea, are you ready? Oh, uh, well, first of all, is this restaurant, like, grade D salsa, I feel? Well, we'll find out <laughs> after it's made. Um, first, we want to go ahead and we'll go through the ingredients. You are comfortable. Okay. Our, our, our canned tomatoes. Now, yes, JT made a comment that they were canned tomatoes, but you know what? That's probably what restaurants are using anyway, specifically the, the uh, recipe I got. A knife, always important. Cutting board, cumin. A whole heap of garlic, your uh, hatch chilies, which are super important. And uh, as I'm learning from the label, it's nature's superfood. Jalapeno, cilantro, lime, onion, food processor. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be since you sprang it on me. I can All do right. it. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to, uh, we'll start easy. We'll start with the tomatoes. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, you just need to put the tomatoes inside of the food processor. Okay, all right. You know, I mean, yeah, fresh tomatoes are always good, but these San Marzano ones, they are pretty professional grade. Juice, juice and all goes juice in. Juice and all, that's a good question. Maybe. Looks a little, little, little chunky. Yeah, okay, all right. Is this the lid, is this what yes, you do? Yes, you twist. This? Twist just the top. Hold the handle, twist the okay. top. So this is already off to a. Uh, I don't know how to use a food processor. Incredible start. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say it. Can I just? You can just dump, dump okay. away. We're gonna use all those tomatoes. Okay. All right. Alrighty then. So now, I don't know about you. I like a lot of spice in my uh, salsa. So we've got two jalapenos. You need to seed and stem, or stem and seed those, and cut them into quarters. She looks very nervous. I am nervous. I, 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 did, I, need to... I did give her the option for gloves so she didn't get jalapeno everywhere. She said, uh, can I wash my hands afterwards? So we're going to allow it Thank and I'm going to cheat for her and give her a spoon. I appreciate there. that. Because you don't want to take those out with your hands. It gets under your fingernails. Now, have you ever made salsa before, Chelsea? Um, No, I haven't. You have eaten salsa. I've eaten plenty I, of salsa. I remember a distinct night where uh, you ate all of the salsa in our residence. Um, yeah, that's, I'm not even going to lie, I'll own up to it, it's true. But there was, uh, you know, maybe some drinks involved, so you know what happens when you drink. So you just need a good, fresh snack. Salsa is always a good, fresh snack, and that's... Uh, Both of these? Both of them. Oh, wow, okay. And, and quarters, not halves. We're just talking about fractions. Okay. Hey, I'm just trying to get these uh, de-seeded first. All right. I'll allow it. Mostly because I'm not having to do any of the work or get my hands dirty. Yeah, what's this? I'm supposed to be the guest here, and you're putting me to work. Yeah, after this, we're going to make a three-course meal. <laughs> um, same process. Uh, you're doing pretty good at getting those seeds out. You've, I've de-seeded a jalapeno a time or two. You've also not deceived a jalapeno a time or two. <laughs> yeah, that was when I first really started cooking. For have you, have you had any cooking horror stories since last time we saw you? Hmm, I don't think so. I've gotten a lot better. I have. Uh, so when you say quarter, go. Yeah, do I just need to horizontally? You know? I mean, it doesn't really matter. The food processor is going to do most of your cutting but it's just going to be easier to process if in, in smaller chunks. Um, okay, yeah. 
like that quarter? That good? That's that's good. That's okay. The acidity and the lime juice will surely clean that. Or you can go rinse it. <laughs> Let me rinse it first. <laughs> the look she gave me. She was not thrilled with my laissez-faire attitude about food safety. I haven't killed anyone yet. Well, I guess in a regular restaurant, people would just, you know, what, throw it in? Okay. Exactly. Let me wash my hands first. I don't want to be touching my face. We've, we've all learned the importance of washing hands over the last... Uh, Year and a half. Soap is to the left of the sink. Hands, and uh, now we gotta resume. And I, I think every salsa should have a little bit of onion. Okay. Okay. Not yeah. a whole lot of onion because it can definitely overpower. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe half of that onion. What do you think? Half an onion sounds good. Though I don't think you could ever have too much onion. There are some people on this planet who don't like onion. Who are these people? Um, and why are they still on this planet? <laughs> I, I'm not naming names. We'll have a conversation about that off the air. Okay. It's not me. I love onion. Oh my God, I, I love your strategy for cutting onion. I watched uh, an episode or two on the Food Network. <laughs> Anyone else want to cry? Not yet. <laughs> so my, my understanding is... If you don't cut the root, and you just need to do a chop on this, really. Oh, okay. Uh, if you don't cut the root side, it won't make your eyes water. Really? That's what I'm told. Oh. I have no scientific evidence to back it all yeah, up. I'm not sure that's true, but... Oh, she is dicing these. Am I? Yes. I mean... It doesn't matter? No. In the long run? It doesn't have to be beautiful because, again, we're going through the food processor, all right, food which processor. is where that all goes. I mean, I didn't cry, so maybe there is some uh, science to that. I don't know. I've had some bad luck with onions lately, getting really strong ones. And I cut this in half the same way you would have, so I don't know. All I right. Know, my eyes are burning a little now, so let's power through. All right, get some garlic. We need, like... Three or four cloves. Okay. I like garlic. And really, you can just mash them and then take the skin off and throw them in the food processor. Is what I would do. Yeah, I think that onion is starting to get to me now. Or you're just sad. Or that. <laughs> Your salsa career never really took off. Right. One clove. So, how many? All of these? I'd do like three, the three big ones. Garlic is uh, important in every dish. Yes. I would say that onions are too, but yeah. I'm with you. You're preaching to the choir on that one. I love onions. I used to eat them raw when I was a kid. Okay, now that's kind of gross. It, I've tried it since as an adult. Definitely gross. <laughs> Can confirm. But I just bite into them like an apple. I never told you I'm kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Probably from eating all those onions as kids. Oh boy. Okay. All right. One more. Uno mas. Por favor. Grazie, grazie. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I'm doing a lot better than even you anticipated right now. I know. This is really disappointing. <laughs> He was hoping that my skills were still lacking. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and cut two of those limes in half and juice them into the food processor. Okay. You got strong hands? That's the way you're cutting that? All right. What's wrong with this way? I would have gone the other way, but you'll see when you try and juice it, I think. Okay, okay, you're doing all right. Okay. One more? Uno mas. One more. Okay. 
I took French. I was just, I was just about I to say, you French. took French, didn't you? <laughs> In hindsight, I should have listened to everyone, though, and taken Spanish. Much more practical language. It really is. I like how you hold the lime the wrong way when you're trying to juice it. Well, yeah, it is kind of... <laughs> Something just fell in there. Is it a seed? Okay, uh, I got it. We're, all, we're good. Stuck her dirty ass hands all in there. Uh, we just washed off a jalapeno. I think my hands are okay. <laughs> Hope you don't have any cuts on your hands. You ever get lime juice in a paper cut? Yeah. Oh my god. That's the worst. You want to punish someone or torture them, do that. Alright, so now we're down to our final three ingredients. Cilantro, hatch chilies, and cumin. Let's go with cilantro next. Just take a whole heap in however you think is enough. Go ahead and chop it and throw it on in there. I like a lot of cilantro. Yep. Some people say it tastes like soap. I'm not one of those people. The more the merrier. I think that's a sign your brain's wired wrong. Seriously, I, th I think I was looking that up somewhere. Huh. You think that's... You go yeah. with that more? I'm good with that. Right. If you're good with that, I'm, I'm good with good that. With this. I would maybe do more, but since we mm. don't know how everyone likes well, we can, after we After it processes a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we are, we are our key audience. All, All right. right. The uh, hatch chilies. Okay. Just go ahead and throw that whole container the whole in thing? there. Yeah. What are even hatch chilies? Chili peppers. Oh. These are pre-diced. Oh. Because the store was out of oh. actual chili peppers. All right. And they're fire roasted, which is always important. Awesome. I believe they're n the hatch ones are native to New Mexico. Hmm. Last but not least, we need about a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. So I got well, your handy dandy teaspoon there. Okay. Okay. Can I just stick the spoon in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, is that too much? That'll do. So there is the uh, beautiful assortment of fresh colors, spices. It smells good. It does smell really good. It smells fresh. Now, now we gotta see how it tastes. First, we gotta blend it. Oh okay. man, that cumin's definitely hitting. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. So now you. Gotta Twist the lid back of the handle. Okay. And uh, blend it until you are comfortable. You got one, two, or P. P is pulse, so it gives you more manual control. Well, I've never used a food processor. It's just like so, a blender. So Blenders have pulse. Which one are you thinking? I'm lazy. I would have done like one, but pulse is probably easier. Don't even hold my hand over anything. <laughs> mm, we'll see. It's suction cup to the counter. Now let's open that lid and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks like restaurant salsa. It does. Smooth. Now, uh, Everything's okay. Now we better give it a taste test. Of course, traditionally with salsa, you're supposed to allow the ingredients to... Uh, marinate together. Marinate, but uh, we'll have a few hours. We got mess. And we got jars to store it in. So <laughs> we'll check back in and on it in a little while, but... Uh, Noisy chip opening. I'll let you go first since you did all the work. All right, okay. I'm breaking in half here. I won't double dip either. Appreciate that. Not a fan of double dipping. Mm, this is terrible. No, that is not what I was gonna say. Damn good salsa. We'll see what it does in a couple hours and uh, <laughs> we'll check back in. Chelsea, I'm glad you came to visit. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Thanks for making the salsa for me. And, yeah, uh, no problem. You can go now. <laughs>